So hello guys and welcome back to my channel and today we will be creating this logo flip animation inside After Effects. So this is the footage that I am using. So first we will duplicate the footage and then hit right click and go to time and freeze frame. Alright, so let's rename it to freeze frame to avoid any confusion. Now with the help of a pen tool we need to mask out our logo. So let's get started with our masking. Also guys, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please make sure you subscribe to it and like this video. Let's clean it up. The edges are still not looking good. Okay, so now our masking is done. So I will duplicate my footage again and in the middle freeze frame, I will open my mask properties and change it to subtract. As you can see, we have got a clean plate here. I mean the blank. So go to content aware fill and I'm keeping my expansion to around 8 and surface and then I will hit generate fill layer. Now let's wait. Okay, so our fill layer is done. So let's drag and drop it below the freeze frame and above the main footage so now let's start with our logo animation now so I will duplicate my fill layer and drag it to the top and then go to my effects panel and search for fill and drag and drop it Let's change its color to white and then I will parent my freeze frame layer to the fill generated fill layer and with the help of pen tool I will start masking out. Let's animate our mask path, move few frames forward. Okay, so our logo animation, the first step is done. Now I will drag and drop a saber effect. Let's turn on the visibility. Now under the render settings, I will change my change it to transparent and then under the customized score, I will change it to layer mask. And for this, Let's change our blending mode to add and I'm using the electric preset. You can choose any preset you want as per your preferences. And also I'm going with the color something blue. And let's change the settings. We will play with the glue intensity, radius and the core size. Since you can see that the saber effect is spilling out of the frame of our logo. So for that to fix it, we will add a set matte effect. Now you can see the saber effect which is spilling out of our logo is fixed. Let's animate the core size. Okay, so now our logo animation is done. So now I will cut my clip here with the help control shift D and drag it to the top. And also I will change your track mat to no mat. And turn it to 3D layer and make sure to enable the motion blur. Let's adjust our anchor point to the center of our logo. Now open the position properties. Let's move few frames forward. 
and let's animate it. I want the logo to come towards the camera. Okay, it looks good now. Also, I will be animating the Y rotation for my logo. So let's create a keyframe for that. I'm keeping the value to three, three rotations. Let's preview it. So let's adjust the keyframe timing. Okay, it looks good now. Let's drag and drop a bevel alpha. And let's animate our edge thickness. Zero and let's move to frame forward. Let's change it to eight. And then we will animate our light angle. Create a keyframe for that. And let's move few frame forward again and then animate it. Alright, let's preview it how it looks. I think we need to extend our light angle and also I will again create a keyframe for our position and I want my logo to be back in the same position from where it started so I will copy the keyframe if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet please make sure you subscribe to my channel for daily content like this okay so now i will so i will need to animate our edge thickness again so i will create a keyframe and move few frames forward and keep its value to zero also i downloaded this shockwave effect from youtube and let's drag and drop it let's change our blending mode to add I want the shockwave effect to happen when the logo hits back to the position let's add a grow effect on it and adjust the threshold and the radius and then I will add hue and saturation and enable the polarize option and increase the color saturation I will go with something blue okay this looks good let's preview it Okay, so now I will create a new solid layer. Make sure the color is white and let's name it to Shockwave Map. Now select the ellipse tool and then we will create a circle shape. I mean the circle mask. And let's open up the properties and increase the mask feather. Also let's trim down our white solid layer since we don't want it from the start we want it to animate when the logo hits back to the original position. Now open up the mask properties and click the keyframe for the mask expansion and move few frames forward and click the keyframe head back to the first keyframe and then adjust the expansion it's not visible okay also now let's duplicate our mask layer again and under this I will offset the keyframe timing and also I will change from add to subtract to create a ring effect I think the ring is 
too big so I want to make it a bit more smooth. So let's adjust few settings of our mask properties. Let's adjust the position of our shockwave map to the center of our logo. And as you can see the edges are visible. So I will just increase the scale. And also let's animate the op opacity property. Now this is the frame that we will be using. So let's open up the mask property and let's change it to none. You can even delete it if you want to. So let's search for displacement map in our effects panel and drag and drop it. And then we will change our displacement map layer to this shockwave map. And let's change settings to masks. And then we will play with our maximum vertical displacement. Okay, we need to adjust the keyframes of our shockwave. I want to make keep it short. Alright, so it looks good now. At last, I will create an adjustment layer and add the curves effect. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Make sure to subscribe to my channel and like this video. Thank you so much and have a nice day.